Hello! In our geography, biology, and sociology, which is our main subject, we have men, women, and hormones, okay, which nobody, almost nobody knows how to explain. Okay, even transgender people cannot explain, even gays, lesbians, they tend not to be able to explain what the hell is going on with them. All they say is we have feelings. That's not how it works. You cannot have feelings without hormones. It's just humanly not possible. Alright, so alright, let's let's understand what a man and woman is. Right? Man tends to have more testosterone than a woman. Right? Woman tends to have more estrogen than a man. Simple. Okay, we have we both have both. It's just that one tends to be more. Okay. Then man has sperm, woman has ovum. Okay. Ad, uh, men are more ten, uh, have more tendency to have adrenaline. Okay, or they have more tendency towards cortisol, etc. Women have more tendency towards oxytocin. Okay, which is the chemical of bonding. Now. We think, okay, we think that as as genders, X, Y, and XX, which is our chromosomes, determine what we become, male or female. That is not true, okay. X, Y, and XX is just an instruction. It's an instruction from the sperm saying, "I want a boy, I want a woman." The rest is completely up to the mother. Okay. Now let us understand this very simply. It is much more complex and complicated than this. Uh, diet matters. climate matters heat matters everything all these things matter but we are going to understand it very very simply okay the depth of it can go on to for our video so man tends to have let's assume there are four buckets okay four buckets of testosterone and estrogen all these buckets have to be full if all of them are not full there can be a different kind of trouble we will not get into that now right so now we have four buckets uh in the first term of the pregnancy what happens is these first two buckets get filled okay now the first two buckets are filled with testosterone right the womb decides if say, let's say it gets xx okay and the womb decides that no i do not have the resources to produce a woman at this point or i have an excess of testosterone or the diet is in a certain way so it says well, i'm going to make a man i don't care all right so in the first part of the pregnancy it gets testosterone two buckets full the second part of the pregnancy it gets another bucket of testosterone and then the last bucket is estrogen you have a full man here okay in the sense of he is bodily a man this is the body okay and mentally a man okay that means he thinks like a man therefore tends to be attracted to women okay tends to have male tendencies doing stupid things for example now let's talk about the woman same thing okay let's assume she get, uh, the instruction is xy in this case the woman is the default sex that is why men have nipples because the first assumption by the this is i am making a woman all right so let's assume that the xy instruction comes and the uh, woman says the woman's body says i do not have the ability to make testosterone or the woman is smoking a lot or there is a lot of pollution or there is a lot of drinking happening or a lot of you know or the male sperm is deficient in a certain way so it becomes a woman so you have estrogen which is easily produced by the woman's body all right and it becomes a woman by brain okay that means she is a woman she thinks like a woman physically a woman and is attracted to men right so that is three parts of estrogen and one part of testosterone simple all right now where does the thing get complicated where does gay happen and lesbian happen and transgender happen okay things this is where things get complex now let's talk about gay all right so if the in the first part of the pregnancy you get two parts of te- testosterone okay and in the second part it is not been able to provide the third part of testosterone right so the man is a man in the sense of physically a man right and thinks like a woman right that means is attracted to men or is in a or has many female or feminine tendencies right so it could be two buckets of testosterone and two buckets of estrogen or it could be two and a half buckets and one and a half bucket it depends and there are different kinds of these there are different levels of effeminate etc same with lesbian okay so in the first part of the pregnancy she got two this of estro uh, estrogen this means she is physically a woman all right no issues there but 
in the second part it could not provide the third bucket of estrogen and therefore mentally thinks like a man same theory here you could have two buckets of uh, est uh, estrogen and two buckets of testosterone it's completely depends on the physics at that point of time now let's talk about intersex people okay intersex people have got two buckets and two buckets okay sometimes it there is actually gender confusion that, that's why they say there are so many genders okay but not just genders there are many sexes also in the sense of there are some uh, one in four thousand babies is born without uh, without genitals finished there's just a hole there and the doctor at that point of time has to decide what genitals to put depending on the level of testosterone estrogen health of the mother etc etc Okay, there are, this is very very complex so this is basically what an intersex thing is now what exactly is a transgender okay a transgender can happen to anyone at any point of time that means you're living life okay and suddenly the estrogen in you increases or or you're born a woman suppose and your the testosterone in you is extremely high so you feel like becoming a man you feel like a man from the inside these are not feelings these are chemicals okay and most people, even including the transgender community, does not explain it in this way. So when the chemical increases, you will automatically start feeling. Now the way it is happening today is ridiculous. That is a whole different thing where they are, uh, you know, changing the genders of 12 year olds and all. But that is not for me to comment. But you have to understand the whole physics behind it. Okay. And when you know you're a woman, when you're a man, but you know from inside you're a woman, it is just chemicals that are affecting you. Similarly, why you attract to a certain gender, it is also chemicals and these things throughout your life can change now your sex very rarely changes in the sense of uh, there are some, there's something called pseudo hermaphrodites okay and they sometimes at a certain age change their gender like physically and i mean they start growing penises or something like that that's a very different thing that is very very rare but gender can change throughout life it can be a product of menopause uh, it can be a product of uh, you know even men have menopause it can be so many other things a product of environment okay a man could become gay later in life so it all depends on on chemicals and now situationally speaking right so when situations change these things keep changing in the sense of if a man with full-on testosterone is put into a caring situation or a nurturing situation where he has to take care of everyone then he increases estrogen he's trying to take care so nature is trying to make sure that the man becomes more understanding of that situation this is all survival this is all survival if a woman is put into a position of power where she has to uh, uh, throw orders at people where she has to become a man so to speak right then estro uh, testosterone increases in her so it is just nature moving around your gender also is moving around depending on the situation and technically your uh, in testosterone and estrogen could increase and decrease in a day depending on the situation so what the whole point here is that sex and gender are different okay and emotions don't matter it cannot be because emotions exist but it is all a result of hormonal productions okay so what you have to learn here basically is that you do not have a gender you may have a sex but you do not have a gender and in fact both these genders only exist to for you to manage situations adeptly, right? What we do is when we stereotype genders, we do not man manage the other kind of situation adeptly. Think about it this way. The woman was in the cave, she was taking care of the tribe. She had to ensure there were no scorpions. She had to feed the child. She had to do all that, okay? And ensure that the fire doesn't burn the cave. The man had to go out and hunt, right? At, at least that's what we are told. And that is what our muscles tell us and that's what our biology tells us. So, when we think about it this way, we were made for different roles. But as of today, genders are coming together. So we are doing different things that are not a part of our gender. Don't be uh, this in either side. What is needed, just do. You want to be nurturing, learn to be nurturing. Just make it a part of your personality. Okay, you have to be a boss, be a boss. Okay, you have to be a beta, be a beta, be an alpha. Don't be stuck in these ideas. The moment you're stuck in these ideas, you're not going to flow through life. So just learn to flow through life and understand this completely and understand this and completely and try and explain to people and more importantly, try and explain to yourself.